In this video, we are going to learn how to configure a Cisco switch to be a DHCP server. Once we have that working, we'll have another video showing you how to set up a Cisco router as a DHCP relay agent. So take a look at our network. Router 1 is configured with the IP address 192.168.10.1 and printer 1 is configured with the IP address 192.168.10.5. PC 1 is going to get its IP address from the DHCP server once we have that set up. So we're going to configure router 1 to be a DHCP server with the following options. Um, hopefully you can see this. It's kind of uh, small, but um, the IP address range we're going to use is 192.168.10.11 through 192.168.10.254. Um, we're going to have a default gateway, which is going to be our router, uh, which is 192.168.10.1, and our DNS server, we're just going to use 4.4.4.4. So the way Cisco does it is you define the network that you want to hand out addresses for. So in this case, the network is the 192.168.10.0 network. And we're using a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Um, so when you do that, all of the addresses in the network will be given out. So basically, it's going to give out everything between um, 10.1 through... 10.254. Um, if you have a range of addresses or specific IP addresses that you do not want to be given out by DHCP, for example, printer 1, obviously we don't want to get about 10.5 because printer 1 already has that IP address and router 1 already has 10.1, so we wouldn't want to give that address out. So once you've defined the network that you're going to give out addresses on, those addresses are addresses that will be given out. So if you don't want to give out those addresses, what you have to do is exclude those addresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to exclude a range of addresses. We're going to exclude um, 10.1 through 10.10. .10. So that will you know, cover these two devices. Also, it will give us you know, a, a buffer. So we have eight other addresses that we can statically assign for future network devices or future servers that might be on our network. Um, like I said, we're going to give out 10.1 as the default gateway and 4.4.4.4 as the DNS server. So let's go ahead and get started. And first thing I want to do is just um, do a check just to make sure our networking is set up already. So I'm just going to ping from the router to the printer just to make sure that that works and that worked. Um, the next thing I want to do is just make sure that our PC is configured to get its IP from DHCP. And it looks like actually I had already done this before, so it already has an IP address. So what I'm going to do is release my IP address so I don't have one. But as you can see, DHCP is enabled. And then I just want to verify that right now I cannot renew my address because we don't have a DHCP server. So this should fail. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our router and start doing the configuration. Um, the first thing you need to do uh, to set up your router as a DHCP server is to enable the DHCP service and we do that from global configuration mode so I'm going to type conf t to get in configuration mode and the command to turn or enable DHCP is service space DHCP so DHCP is enabled but at this point it's not giving out any addresses um, the next thing you're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and tell it which addresses to exclude. And the reason we're going to do that is because 
if I tell it what network um, to give out IP addresses on right now, it'll start giving out IP addresses. So the first thing, first address that's there is going to be 10.1. In that range between 1 and 254, it's going to give out 10.1. And so our PC is going to get 10.1 which that's going to be a conflict with our router um, right off the bat. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just uh, make our exclude list. So the command to do that, you also do that from global configuration mode, and it is IP DHCP excluded dash address. And you could type a single IP address here to exclude one address, or you can type, which is what we're going to do, we can type the, the IP address of the first IP in the range that we want to exclude, and then a space, and then the last IP. So I'm going to type 192.168.10.1 space 192.168.10.10, and what that says is we're going to exclude all of the addresses from 1 all the way to dot .10. So I'll hit enter there. So we're still not giving out IP addresses. We've just told it which ones we do not want to give out. So the next thing we want to do is create our DHCP pool. So the, we're going to say also from global configuration mode IP DHCP pool and then we want to give the pool a name. So we're just going to call it network 10 because this is we're going to be giving out all the addresses for the dot 10 network. So it's very descriptive just network 10 is what we'll call it. That throws you into DHCP configuration mode. So you can see the prompt changed to router 1 slash or in parentheses DHCP dash config so that way you know you're in DHCP configuration mode. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our options instead of, um, once again, instead of putting our network command that's going to tell us what network to give out IP addresses on, we're going to go ahead and do our options, and that way when it starts giving out addresses, it'll already have the options included. So the first option that we are going to configure is we are going to configure the default gateway for all of our devices. So you would think this command would be default gateway, but it's not. It's default router space, and then we want that to be 10.1, which is our router's IP address. Okay, so once we've got that, the next option that we want to give out is the DNS servers. And we, we've just got one on our network, but you can specify up to eight, I believe. Um, but we're going to say DNS-server space and then 4.4.4.4 is what we're going to use for our DHCP server. If you want to do add uh, an additional DNS server, you just put a space, type another IP address. But we're just going to use 4.4.4.4. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and define our network. So network 192.168. 10.0 space and then our subnet mask and once we hit enter here our DHCP server is going to start giving out addresses it's going to give out everything in the range from 10.11 to 10.254 and it's once again it's not starting from dot one because we've excluded dot one through dot ten so let's go ahead and Hit enter there and let's go ahead and test it. So we'll go to our PC and what we would expect is that it, the first IP address that's given out is going to be dot eleven, right? Because we excluded one through ten. So let's see if that's what happens. I'm going to go ahead and span this out here. And look, it's already done it while we've been sitting here waiting. So it's given our PC. Um, the 10.11 address with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. It's got our default gateway and the DNS server that we wanted to use. So let's just do a real quick test and try to ping our router. And that is working. 
and we'll ping our printer which is dot five and that's working so that's how you set up a DHCP server on your router uh, the next thing we're going to do, and we'll do this in a separate video, we're going to take this same network and we're going to add another subnet. So we're going to have another router and we're going to have a PC on the other side of that router. And as you probably already know, um, DHCP works by broadcast. So if you've got a PC on the other side of a router, it sends out a broadcast. A router stops a broadcast, so it's not going to be able to reach our DHCP server. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up a DHCP relay agent. We'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.